Well, in 2017, I think we will see even more entrants coming into the market in all countries across Southeast Asia. The market will continue to grow very fast. It's growing, you know, over 300% right now in this part of the world. We will see that and it will grow in all areas, whether it's retail consumer, whether it's invoice trade financing, whether it's uh, SME lending. All segments of peer-to-peer will grow and it will continue to be you know, a very exciting market for the foreseeable future. The P2P lending market in uh, Southeast Asia and in Singapore is very immature, very young. It's a very fast, dynamic growing market with a lot of new entrants coming into the market um, on a quarterly basis. The market in in this, this part of the world started only a few years ago, whereas obviously in the US and China and Europe, the P2P market started Uh, more than six, seven years ago. And therefore, you know, we're seeing the same experience curve starting to occur in this part of the world as it did in in the US or in China or in Europe. The growth is very fast, um, but at the moment the market is quite small and it's taking very small proportion of bank lending or lending generally. Um, It's a big opportunity. Overall lending is about 350 billion Singapore dollars per year. The lending to SMEs overall is about 80 billion Singapore dollars per year. And if you look at uh, P2P today, it's probably around 150 million market total. The penetration is very low. So the, the local banks lending about 60% of loans to SMEs and f- foreign banks are lending almost all of the rest. So it's still a big portion, you know, the biggest portion of the market is coming from banks. The the challenge is the criteria to get a loan and secondly the the length of time it takes to get a loan. So the first criteria is that banks will not lend to any SME that's not more than three years old. Secondly, they focus on businesses uh, that do revenue of more than 30 million per year. The biggest portion of SMEs is below 30 million in revenue and also less than three years old. In addition, you know, banks take a long time and SMEs are wanting cash as fast as possible to finance their business. P2P has come about really because of the ability to create a marketplace to match lenders and and borrowers, and also the ability to build algorithms. For example, we're doing fractionalization through algorithms. You know, as blockchain technology comes more and more into the market. Obviously, the banks are looking at blockchain, working on it to create secure finance transactions. It will have a a positive impact on on P2P going forward. Well, I think they've made it much more available to both in the retail sector to consumers as well as to SMEs. But I think the the way that it's changed is that the, the P2P space is very much creating transparency, It's creating a much easier way for people to get access to financing. And the P2P platform is very cost effective as a way for business to operate. And that's why banks are worried about P2P, I think. I mean, they see it as an opportunity if they partner or if they have their own capability. But they also see it as a threat, you know, to their own business. (music) 